So what else do we consider really, really important that we should also have an ID for? Constitutionally. Should we have an ID, it's been said, to render a political opinion? Should we have to show an ID to, in order to have an opinion on the floor here today? What about if you have an opinion on the internet? Should you have to show an ID for that? Or with your coworkers? Should you have to show an ID to go to church? Most of us think that that's inviolate. First Amendment, freedom of religion. Do you have to show an ID to get into church? What if we made a law to say that? What about to show an ID to peaceably assemble? Now remember, this is peaceably assemble. This is not if you're doing something crazy and the cops come to say, hey, what are you doing? Peaceably assemble. Should you have to show an ID to do that? Or to have a gun in your house? Some people might think that's reasonable. But in fact, why should you have to have an ID to have a gun in your house? Now, if you're going to take it out and walk around, that's one thing. What about an, um, an ID in order to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures? Something we hold sacred. Cops come to your door, bang on, bang on your door, say, you know what, uh, we got a warrant. You say, well, let me see that warrant. Cop says, well, let me see your ID first. No. The Constitution says we don't have to do that. They got to show you the warrant. They got to have a warrant. What about to be free from excessive bail or cruel and unusual punishment? You didn't pay your parking ticket. $100,000 bail. Well, hang on a second, Judge. No, 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 let me see your ID. These are things that you should not have to have an ID for because they're integral to our rights as a person who lives in this country.